Greetings all, today was day two of the Toro Retro Gaming Expo in Columbus, Ohio. Got even more pickups today to show you. Um, if you do want to see day one's pickups, feel free to check the link in the description below. I do apologize in advance for the lack of enthusiasm in my voice on the last video. I was extremely out of it when I filmed that. I still am pretty tired though. But uh, we had much better luck today looking around simply because there was only about half of the amount of people there compared to yesterday, and a lot of the vendors were starting to clear out too, so we got uh, much better deals, more deals. I was able to walk around without touching stranger butts on accident the whole time, and it was just all around a good time once again. I uh, met a couple more cool people, and without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So here's a quick overview of everything we got today. As you can see, I had to stack a few things because I am uh, running low on desk space here. Uh, but anyway, so first up, uh, my wife is really into gemstone collecting, and she's been looking for a good piece of opal uh, for a long time now, for years actually. And every time we go out anywhere, uh, say Gatlinburg or just any local place that has these, they never have opal. Well, here it is right here, 20 bucks. That's a big piece, as you can see. I guess that's Opal. I know nothing about it. She said it is. Next, we have a print from a place called Alcatha Clothing, or Alcatha Clothing. I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but the dude at the stand, his name was uh, Brian. And there is some amazing artwork to see from this vendor. You need to check it out. Here's their, uh, here's their stuff right here in the picture. Another vendor we took a look at was Drawn Till Dawn. I don't know if we actually bought anything from them or if we just grabbed the business card. But here's their stuff if you want to check them out. Moving on to the games. Had to get a, die, a copy of Die Hard Trilogy. I don't have that in the collection yet for PS1. Haven't been collecting PS1 for very long. But this is a really cool game. Uh, three arcade style games in one basically. You have a run and gun shooter, a light gun style shooter here. And I believe this is like a car type thing. I can't remember what this uh, part of the game is. But this is a fun one. Only cost a few bucks. Yeah, case could, uh, the case has seen better days, as you can see, but whatever. And as you can see, it is complete. Next up, PS3 stuff. Uh, we have Split Second. This is basically like a hybrid of Burnout and like a movie style game. Basically, uh, you're racing high speeds and you can trigger these events that could cause the level around you to basically explode. You can have uh, buildings crashing down, planes crashing down at you, and you could trigger events to have stuff hit the other car or cause the other cars in front of you to crash, basically. Really fun game. Um, believe it or not, it's a Disney game. But yeah, it's pretty intense. If you like burnout-type games, definitely check this one out. It's fun as hell. I've played this uh, both on PC and PC, uh, PSP quite a bit. Next up, Dante's Inferno. This game I've never played before. I don't know much about PS3, to be honest with you. When it, uh, when it came out, I skipped over this generation. The only time I played PS3 was like at a friend's house in the mid-2000s. At the time, I was all about PC. So this is going to be a new one. It looks really fun from the videos I've seen. I do have it on PSP, but I just haven't played it yet. But it, it looks like a good time, so had to pick that up. Heavy Rain, another one that I know nothing about, but it looked interesting. It's supposed to be like a thriller type thing. Forgot to also mention, I believe all these games I got are complete. So let's check that. Uh, nope, split seconds disc only. I didn't actually check all these when I got them, but I just judged by the weight. So here's Dante's Inferno. I believe this one is complete. Yes, it is. Heavy Rain. Complete. Looking at Tech and Tag Tournament 2. Had this on the uh, Wii U for a while, back when I had a Wii U. Um, I had the Wii U actually modded so I could play pretty much anything, but it got to where there was nothing really worth playing, even modded, to me at least. The only thing really that I cared to play was Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and the Wind Waker HD remake. Everything else was already ported to Switch pretty much that I cared about. Um, so I was pretty, uh, pretty happy to see this again so I can have it in the collection and play it again. This PS3 version, of course. And this one is complete. Next up, Soul Calibur 4. I haven't played this in years because it was never put on uh, put on PC. And again, I skipped this generation. This one's cool, though, because uh, you could play as like The Apprentice and Darth Vader and stuff the get as the guest characters. So 
I'm excited to dig into this again. I haven't played this game since probably 2006 or 7, uh, whenever it came out. Yeah, eight, 2008. Dragon's Dog. Oh, and this one's complete. Sorry. Dragon's Dogma. I've never seen any footage of this game. I've always known about it, but I just never checked it out. So we picked that up. The vendor at the uh, table that we were looking at this with, uh, he he's a big fan of this, so... And Shelby was curious, too, so we thought we would check it out, too. Demon Souls. This is supposedly one of the really common games for PS3 that everybody has, but for some reason, we could not find this anywhere at this convention. Only one or two people had it. One, it was just in kind of eh condition, and then there was this one. So we picked this one up, and it's complete. I'm not really into Souls games. She is, though. Next up, we have Devil May Cry 4. I had this one on PC, played it quite a bit, and I did beat it. Uh, it's a really awesome game, and I'm actually looking forward to playing through this again, because I think uh, I think Nero's actually a really cool character. I like his abilities. I've been hearing from a lot of different YouTube channels that now's a good time to buy PS3 games just because they're so cheap now, and I believe it. A lot of these we got for barely anything. All right, the original Devil May Cry for PS2. Complete as well. The first time I ever actually had this game complete, I bought it when it was uh, when the PS2 was current, and it was just loose when I got it. So yeah, happy to have that. We did see the HD collection of Devil May Cry, but that was after we'd already bought all this shit, so we were just like, well, whatever. Anyway, uh, we got all three Uncharted games. We got Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, uh, Drake's Fortune here. We have Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. This one's seen better days, as you can see, but hey, I think this is only like $2. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. We got Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. I really love the PSP version. To be honest, it held my attention longer than GTA 3 for the PS2. So I thought it'd be cool to take a look at this one as a consoleized version of the handheld game. Um, I, l I just love the cheesiness and the humor in this. I think it's fun. Oh, and this one's complete, too. It even has, like, this newspaper type deal. It's kind of cool. This is one that I've been having trouble finding anywhere locally for some reason. Um, I'm, it's not rare or anything, obviously. But we have Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. Uh, this is supposed to be the superior version of this game. I don't know too much about this series, but I have been playing the portable ones, especially 3, and they're fun as hell. I keep seeing this the price to this all over the place between, say, $30 to $60 online. It just kind of fluctuates a lot. So I got this one actually for only about $20, I believe, and complete. So that's cool. Looking forward to jumping into this one. Last but not least, we have NES games. This kind of blew my mind. Pipe Dream for the NES. I did not know this existed. This puzzle game from Windows. So this is going to be interesting to take a look at. Here's one of the essentials that I've yet to get until today, a Stein Axe, and this is minty, minty fresh. This looks great. And then finally, another banger that I had yet to get that I finally added is Contra. Uh, got a little bit of poop on it, but so it'll it'll need some cleaning, but nothing too nothing too major. The label's in good shape. Good deal. So there's the pickups from Tor Day Two. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the cool stuff we got. I definitely have quite the backlog now, as if I didn't already. But it was cool either way. And uh, Steve, Jay, Brandy, John, it was great having you. I hope you felt welcome here. And I would love to see you guys again sooner than later. It was really awesome. One more quick shout out to uh, me and the wife saw this lady that has a uh, bakery. Um, it's called Phoenix's Homemade Sweets. And we had this blue velvet brownie from her. And it was banging. So here's her information on the screen here. But until the next video, have a good one and horns up.